Well, Mike Kennedy with you here. We're going on with a Minolta 16, a classic camera, shot 16 millimeter film. You could say cameras like these were per precursors to the uh, 110 cameras that would come out later. Uh, we looked at the distance lens. Now we're going to be looking at a close-up lens. I thought it might be good to show you exactly how in a little more detail that these filters, these little lenses are changed. First we have to open the camera completely. Now, just a warning here. Every time you open this camera, and similarly the Minox B is this way too, it advances the film. So whether you decide to take a picture at this point or not, uh, the film is going to advance here regardless. So, uh, with the camera open like this, you can push this little lens right off. And now we're going to put the number two close-up filter on. Uh, boy, these numbers are small for my eyes. I'll tell you, there it is right over here. This case rotates. Uh, getting that out. Uh, okay, so now there's channels on here. This is going to interface directly uh, onto this. Hmm. This one's going on with great difficulty, I would say. There we go. You can see now we have that one on. Uh, we've taken the distance lens off. Normally the UV filter is on there. Uh, this case can turn so that none of them will come out. Although I must admit we've already seen that they uh, kind of don't come off out by themselves. So now we've got the number two close-up lens. We're going to consult our charts and we're going to take a close-up photo or two. Here's our chart. If we look at number two, go over to F4. We've got 2.2 feet to 2.7 feet. I'll be using an exposure time of one. So here's our second. setup. We have the Minolta 16.2 mounted on a tripod. We have our subject area, which is going to be these wild violets that are also edible, just to let you know. And what we're going to do is we're going to use a tape measure to actually measure the distance from the camera to the subject. So we're all set up now. We're just going to press the shutter button. Here are the satisfying click. And then we'll... Uh, I'll take this back inside and I'm going to install a regular non-close-up lens on it and we'll shoot off the remainder of the roll in the next few days.